All right, uh, let's look at the homework 3.6, uh, problem number six. All right, so we want to find the first derivative and the second derivative. All right, let's do that. All right, so whenever you have a natural log of something, and if you want to take the derivative, all you have to do is uh, put whatever inside the natural log, put it on the bottom, because one over g of x, then by chain rule, multiply by g prime of x. All right, so uh, uh, let's do that. All right, before we uh, take the derivative, maybe I should rewrite uh, this guy right here. I don't like square roots, so I'm going to rewrite this guy as um, quantity uh, 5 plus x squared. And uh, uh, square root is equivalent to 1 half power, so I'm going to just rewrite that. All right, so first derivative. So y prime is equal to, all right, so we're going to have uh, this uh, big fraction. All right, so whatever you have, I'll put it on the bottom. So you have uh, x plus uh, square root of uh, 5 plus uh, x squared. All right, so we got that. Then you just have to put the derivative of that on top. So derivative of x is 1, all right? And the derivative of, I'm going to look at it as a quantity 5 plus x squared to the 1 half power. So uh, by uh, general power rule, put uh, 1 half in front. All right, keep the same uh, quantity. So you have a 5 plus x squared. All right, and uh, subtract 1 from the power since it's a power rule. So it's a negative 1 half. Then multiply by derivative of inside. Inside is 5 plus x squared. Derivative is uh, 2x. So we have a 2x there. All right. So we have that. Then we can uh, uh, clean up a little bit here. So you have a 2 on top and a 2 on the bottom. All right. And another thing I would like to do is uh, I'm going to uh, try to uh, get rid of this negative one-half power. So I'm going to multiply because it's going to be a fraction inside a fraction. And I'm going to multiply by, um, you know, uh, quantity 5 plus x squared to the positive one-half power. That way it will cancel out. All right. So same thing. You have to do the same thing to the bottom. So we're going to hopefully this will come out uh, really nice. All right, so we have that. Then you're going to get this. All right, so you're going to have... All right, let's do the denominator. Uh, maybe numerator first. All right, so I'm going to apply this guy. All right, so to uh, the first term on top. All right, so I'm going I'm going to actually use a square root, uh, square root of uh, 5 plus x squared, right? It's the same thing, right? And plus, right, if you uh, distribute this guy to the second term, you can see that uh, this cancel with uh, that, and the only thing that's left is uh, x. So I'm going to put x, right? So that's the numerator, right? Then uh, what we have is uh, I actually I'm not going to even simplify the bottom, uh, so I'm I'm going to just write down. So I'm I have uh, x uh, plus uh, I, I can probably use a, a parentheses here. So you have uh, x plus uh, square root of five plus x squared. Right, uh, which is the denominator of the uh, first guy. Right, and we still have, uh, so I'm going to use the square root of. Um, uh, actually, maybe I actually I'm going to leave it as it is. So 5 plus x squared to the 1 half power. All right. And then you can see that there's a nice thing happening. You have x plus square root of 5x, uh, 5 plus x squared. You get exactly the same factor on the bottom. So you can cancel those, cancel that out. And so you're going to get uh, this, right? So it's going to be a 1 over uh, 5 plus x squared to the 1 half power. So I'm going to actually write it as 1 over. 
right? And a one half power is a square root. And you have a five plus x squared, right? So let's check this answer first. Uh, we're going to have one over uh, square root of uh, five plus x squared, All right? Let's check the answer. All right, it came back, and it looks like we got the first derivative correctly. All right, let's do the second derivative. All right, so um, again, I don't like square root when I uh, take the derivative, so I'm going to rewrite it as uh, quantity 5 plus x squared to the, all right, since it's sitting on the bottom, so it's a negative power, so square root is 1 half, right? All right, so uh, we write to in that form. Then the second derivative it's very easy to find right this is just a general power rule uh, put uh, one half power in front uh, uh, keep the same quantity 5 plus x squared and subtract 1 from negative 1 half is negative 3 halves then chain rule multiply by derivative of inside so derivative of 5 plus x squared would be 2x right so we can clean it up. Uh, so you have a 2 on the bottom and 2 on top. And uh, let's see. So there's going to be a, a negative sign here. So we put the negative sign. And who lives upstairs? Uh, we have x upstairs. So we put x on top. All right. Uh, since you have a negative power with the quantity 5 plus x squared, so it's going to be sitting on the bottom. So we have uh, 5 quantity. 5 plus uh, x squared sitting on the bottom, and then you have uh, 3 halves power. All right, uh, let's uh, type it in. All right, so we got uh, uh, negative uh, x over, and the quantity 5 plus x squared, and raise it to the uh, 3 halves power. All right. I'm going to uh, get rid of that. All right. All right. Let's uh, check the answer. All right. Uh, I came back and it uh, looks like we got the second derivative correctly as well. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.